<sighs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody, friends, family, intimate reading associates. We are returned for your monthly TBR pickings. We're back with another TBR video. We're not going to do anything special. Uh, I'm just going to pick from my wife's TBR jar. It's actually got plenty of things that I have written in there myself. So if we get any duplicates from July, I'll probably pick something different. But we're going to just pick a few books. July was a really good reading month, mainly because I went a little bit overboard with audiobooks. Let's see what we're going to be reading for almost in July, August. There is already one book though that I have picked and I will show you that at the end of the video. I'm doing a specific challenge. It's going to be a really fun video. I'm actually filming that this week as we speak. Get prepared for that. But I think without further ado, we are going to just jump right into this. We're going to pick maybe seven prompts. Oh, one fell out. <laughs> what we got? Ooh, come on, show yourself. A book published before you were born. Goodness gracious. Ooh, wait. Please, dear Lord, please, dear Lord, please, dear Lord, please, dear Lord. Copyright 1995. Alrighty. I have I have some books that are older than me. Uh, a lot of the ones that are older than me I have read. The only one that I can read is Dead Man's Walk by Larry McMurtry. This was one that I really, really wanted to read this month. Highly anticipated for me. I want to get into Larry McMurtry because I've heard crazy things about Lonesome Dove. And this is part of a tetralogy that is also called Lonesome Dove. I am excited. I'm excited. If you haven't seen my Come Book Shopping With Me, Book haul. I have just recently purchased this book. We're gonna, we're gonna freaking have a heyday with this one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Next. A book that won an award. Isn't Ashton's handwriting so cute? Oh my gosh. A book that won an award. Um, do I have any? Please, 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 please. Pulitzer Prize. Oh wait, maybe, wait. Yes, it did. It's a National Book Critics Circle Award finalist. I don't think a finalist is a winner, but the author is a is a Pulitzer Prize winner. If I'm stretching here, you just let me know, but I'm picking The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Again, another highly anticipated read. I actually also bought this um, when I bought Dead Man's Walk. So we're getting already two heavy hitters on the docket, two authors I have not yet tackled. So let's see what else we got. Oh, one fell out. <laughs> Dude, what? This is just ending up being amazing. A standalone fantasy book. Sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, well, that's that's a freaking, that's a no-brainer. Okay, people. Okay, I'm going to point you back to a video that I recently uploaded. That is my come book shopping with me. In that video, everyone saw me pick up Red Country by Joe Abercrombie. This is a fantasy standalone, but... I was given tremendous insight by a lot of you in the comments where a lot of you said to read the Abercrombie standalones You should read them in publication order. I'd never heard that before I just said you need to read them before you read the second trilogy in the first law universe Red Country is the third of the standalones But because I'm an addict for book buying, can you guess it? I picked up not only the heroes but Besser Cold and I'm gonna read it in order like everybody said to which means we're picking best served cold best Shrimp Cold is going to be so good. I've been dying to get back into Abercrombie for a while now. It's been almost a year since I read that first trilogy in the first law. Oh, diving into Best Shrimp Cold is going to be great. So now we have, we have three books that we picked. One book in store. Let's do it again, shall we? One fell out. What is this nonsense? A book with food on the cover? What the heck? None of my books have food on it. She's giggling at me in the back. What the fat food? <laughs> what? That's silly. I gotta make my own TBR jar next time. Folks, you know what? Actually, we, we're gonna skip this one. We're gonna, we're gonna skip that and we're just gonna... Okay, okay, okay. Read a book with incredible magic. Incredible magic, do you say? Well, of all the books that I'm reading, um, the only one I can really think of, and uh, this might be stretching. This really might be stretching. I've been needing an excuse to dip my toes back into the Malazan universe. From what I recall from that first book, Gardens of the Moon, Malazan truly has spectacular magic and so I think we're gonna jump into Dead House Gates by Steven Erickson. This book has defeated me every single time I've picked it up. Every single time that I have picked it up I have put it back down. I have found an audiobook for this. I found a very polite gentleman who, who actually uploaded a playlist of him reading the book and so I may listen to that quote unquote audiobook. And that, my dear friends, is going to be our incredible magic pick. I know I'm kind of just breezing through this, just picking books, but 
Stick with me, stick with me folks. I will tell you all about it at the end. So that's four books and then there's five. So there's two more that we need to do. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't have that. It, it, it was a book with love in the title. Nothing on my shelves has the word love in it. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's pick another one. Ooh, read a new book by your favorite author. Ashlyn, does that mean it has to be a new release or a new book that I purchased? A new book you purchased. Yes, a new book that I have purchased. Okay, that can be by a favorite author. You, you just know we're gonna get into the heroes by Joe Abercrombie um, because God, I really do want to get into that second first law trilogy so any leaps and bounds I can take to get there we're gonna read the standalones as quickly as we can this is gonna be amazing I'm so excited I think we pick one more right one more and then we will recap it and I will introduce you to the mystery book ooh all right 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 ooh what Ashlyn you're the best wild card that means I to pick whatever I want, which means you called it, guys. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a pattern here. That's the word I was looking for. Jeez Louise. It's gonna be Red Country by Joe Abercrombie. It's gonna be a Joe Abercrombie month. Yes. So we, we got all three Joe Abercrombie standalones. We got the book by Cormac McCarthy, and we got the book by a man. It's gonna be a good month. The only thing that I'm worried about is fetching dead house gates, but I think that'll be fine. All right, folks. Let's recap. The first prompt was book published before I was born, and I have picked Dead Man's Walk by Larry McMurtry. Some people call this a Western, some people just call it fiction, but Dead Man's Walk is the first book in the extraordinary series called Lonesome Dove, and we're following two Texas Rangers. One, his name is Augustus McCray, and the other is Woodrow Call. Just hear this. As young Texas Rangers, Gus and Call have much to learn about survival in a land fraught with perils. Not only the blazing heat and raging tornadoes, roiling rivers, and merciless Indians, but also the deadly whims of soldiers. On their first expeditions, led by incompetent officers and accompanied by the robust, daunting whore known as the Great Western. They will face death at the hands of the cunning Comanche war chief Buffalo Hump and the silent Apache Gomez. That sounds freaking insane. They will be astonished by the Mexican army and Gus will meet the love of his life. Gus is, I'm guessing, Augustus because Gus is in the word. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that sounds so good and I'm trying to branch out. I'm really, really excited for it. Okay, what was the next one? Oh, the next one was a book that won an award. I should probably look it up. I'm pretty sure I might be stretching this. The Road was a National Book Critics Circle Award finalist. Now that doesn't necessarily mean the same thing as a winner, but the fact that Mr. McCarthy himself won a Pulitzer Prize, maybe for this book? I don't know, it just says Pulitzer Prize winner Cormac McCarthy. I just, I really, really want to read this book. This is a post-apocalyptic tale, a father and his son walking through basically a decimated America, and they're trying to get, it just says their destination is the coast. It doesn't specify which one. I would assume the West, but I'll probably be proven wrong it's going to be the East. But all they have is each other. They have some provisions and, and I think a pistol and they're making their way through what would be a post-apocalyptic country where lawlessness reigns and because there's no government in place and because there's no established societal rules, people have turned to their base natures and they just attack and pillage people on the road. This sounds like it's going to be a gripping, gripping story about love and about a journey. You know, I'm all about a good journey. So this is our book that won an award. The next one I want to say was a standalone fantasy book. Best Served Cold by Mr. Joe this is just the epitome of revenge story. Something happens to the character, all they want is revenge, and it sounds bloody, and it sounds gruesome, and it sounds utterly violent, which is so, so Abercrombie. We're gonna get some revenge this month. The next one was book with incredible magic. I needed an excuse to get back into Malazan because there's so many of you in the comments that have said, Ian, you need to get back into Malazan. You need to finish it because it's going to end up being one of your favorite series of all time. And I know they're right. I believe that. So I need to get over the hump that is freaking Deadhouse Gates. And it has incredible magic. That's the thing. He, he has this, the most unique fantasy fiction ever written. And so the, the magic that I can remember from the first book was so interesting. And so I'm, I'm actually I have a desire to read this and I have a goal to finish it and I will let you know how that goes. 
We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're not gonna let it stop us. Uh, I think the next one was read a new book by favorite author. That was The Heroes by Mr. Joe Abercrombie. This is the second standalone in the set of standalones that I think there's three. This one, we, we revisit an old character. His name is Black Dow. If you have read First Law, Black Dow is a violent, vile creature. He's merciless, he's unforgiving, and he's bloodthirsty. He rules the North. He rules the kingdom in the North, and he has a jealous ally of the king in the South. Or, well, not allies. They're more neighbors. There's a war. This book is pretty much just gonna be a bloody mess of a war. Usually, in between these battles, Abercrombie's really good with developing characters, giving you crazy, insane political plot twists. And so I'm, I'm excited to, to see what happens. And I hope Black Dow dies, because the way we leave him in that first trilogy, I got some, uh, I got some beef with old Black Dow. And then finally, we have the wild card book, which was <laughs> Red Country by Joe Abercrombie. This is Mr. Abercrombie's fantastical take on a western in his brutal blood bloody first law world I am excited for. I am truly excited for. I said that I already have a book that I'm planning on reading for this month. I had a few video ideas to go with it until Ashlyn gave me a brilliant idea. Let me just show you the book. A drum roll, please. The first book of the month that we're going to be reading is It by Stephen King. I fell in love with Stephen King's writing because of The Dark Tower. The Dark Tower has changed what I expect of my authors. Because it's one of the most unique things that I've ever read, now I'm thirsty for the unique. And so I, I know this story, but I want to read the original. I want to read the words on the paper. This is a thick monster of a book, 1153 pages. So Ashley gave me the brilliant idea to film a different video for this. I'm not gonna tell you what that is. I want you to get excited for it, but we are going to do a special challenge for this book. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a lot, but we're gonna try to read this book. It'll be my first horror novel, so my first introduction is going to be one of the grand daddies. I'm so excited for it. So guys, 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 I'm gonna, let's, I'm just gonna show you the books one more time. Dead Man's Walk by Larry Mc Murtry, The Road by Cormac McCarthy, Dead House Frickin' Gates by Stephen Erickson, Best of Cold, The Heroes, and Red Country, all by Joe Abercrombie, and It by Stephen King. And Ashlyn and I do have a special challenge video that we're gonna be doing together, and we're both gonna have videos going up on our channels, so there's gonna be more books read. So we have seven that we're dedicating our, our month to, but then there's gonna be a lot more. I can already feel it in my bones. I can already feel it in my gut. I, I'm stoked for this month. August is gonna be an incredible reading month. It's gonna stretch me because the shortest books on here are The Road and Dead Man's Walk and they're like 300 and not even 400 pages and then all the others are 500 plus so and one of them of course like I said is a thousand. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> wish, wish me all the luck in the world. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for uh, being a part of this video. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. I will catch you in the next video. See you later.